A local teenager raised more than $17,000 for a very good cause. Brandy Williams is live at Rady Children's Hospital to explain. Hi, good Brandy. Man. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, doctors here at Rady Children's Hospital and a local teenage boy are helping save children's hearts. Here to tell us a little bit more about this program that benefits underprivileged uh, children in foreign countries is Audrey Jacobs and Dr. Schachner. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So tell us about Save a Child's Heart. So Save a Child's Heart is an international humanitarian aid organization based in Israel that believes that every child deserves uh, wonderful and quality uh, medical care regardless of their ethnicity or their their financial situation and I'm going to let uh, Dr. Schachner who is the uh, co-founder tell you a little bit more about the extraordinary work they do. Sure thing doctor I'll walk over to you and tell me where this idea came from and how many children you have saved over the years. Okay we saved uh, more than 3,000 kids wow. from 44 uh, sites developing countries the idea came from an American trained uh, doctor by the name of Dr. Ami Cohen, who was my deputy chief. He came with a dream to help the developing countries with in children that have congenital heart disease, mm -hmm. because if they are not operated, they die in agony a few years later. To lose a child to a family in a developing country, which is already in a misery state of financing and uh, well-being, that was uh, really a terrible thing. Well, Dr. Ami Cohen brought this dream to my department that I started in 1991. Mm -hmm. And since I noticed that this idea has a self-perpetuated energy, I took this uh, idea and we developed it. It's uh, sad to say that Dr. Ami Cohen, who was a physician conquering summits of uh, excellency and other things, decided in 2001 to travel to Kilimanjaro with his daughter that finished her, her high school. He conquered the summit, but he couldn't make it back. Oh, wow. Well, in few words, I'll tell you, we are mending hearts from developing countries. Among them, Palestinian kids, mm -hmm. over 50% of, mm -hmm. of the operated kids are from our neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know, the hostilities that are going on killings and other things, sure. but it doesn't matter. One vehicle, the Save a Child Heart vehicle is going on, moving, and it's mending hearts and building bridges for peace. Now, heart surgeries obviously are very expensive, so how can people donate if they want to get involved with this project? Okay, we are on the, on the web, savechildsheart.org. Uh -huh. People that have money or even people and children are raising money to save lives of children from developing countries. But Yeah, Brandy, we, we rudely interrupted you at Rady Children's Hospital earlier, but, but go on, continue telling us a story. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, technical difficulties, right? It happens. Well, yes, I'm back here at Rady Children's Hospital where we're talking about Save a Child's Heart, which is a project that provides heart surgery for children overseas. Here to tell us a little bit more about it, this is Audrey Jacobs and Dr. Schachner. Tell us more about this foundation and how people can help. So Save a Child's Heart truly is a remarkable uh, humanitarian organization based in Israel and it truly highlights Israel's innovative use of math, science and technology to heal the world, feed the world and advance the world. And the mission really is to provide free cardiac heart surgeries to children from all around the world. And what's really remarkable about it is in the last few years, they've given 3,000 heart surgeries to children um, from 44 different countries. But what's interesting is that 50% of the children are from the Palestinian Authority. And so we hear about the conflict, you know, the Arab-Israeli conflict, but this organization is giving free heart surgeries to children from the Palestinian Authority, all other Arab nations, African nations, and South America and it truly highlights Israel's you know, commitment to do repairing the world, to do what we call tikkun alam. Now you said that one in a hundred children all over the world have uh, congenital heart disease. So this is something that you all focus on. Before we run out of time, I just want to get that website from you in case people want to learn more about it or if they want to donate. Yeah. First of all, uh, children are the future of the world. Sure. They will decide how the world will look like in the next generations. Operating on hearts is mending hearts for uh, as a peace program to the world. Uh, one in a hundred uh, children is born with congenital heart disease, and our website is savechildsheart.org. And whoever wants to join and help developing countries in mending hearts or medicine as a currency for peace, please go ahead, 
join us into this fantastic thing. And I thank you for the opportunity to talk to you. Sure, and Dr. Schachner is one of the co-founders. And David just mentioned a second ago, there's a local boy who raised on his own $17,000 to help a child overseas get a heart surgery. We're going to meet that boy in just a few moments. So you guys are going to want to stay with us because it's absolutely inspiring. He worked so hard to uh, save this particular child's life. Boy, Amazing. that is inspiring. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much. Recognized right here at the Jewish Academy for raising over $17,000 to provide a surgery for a sick child overseas. I'll have the full story when Good Morning San Diego returns. Students at San Diego Jewish Academy are getting a very special lecture today. Brandy Williams is there this morning to tell us all about it. Hi, Brandy. Hey, good morning, Alexis. Yes, we've been talking about it all morning long. The Save a Child's Heart Project is uh, something that Audrey Jacobs has been filling us in. But right at this moment, we are talking to both of them. Audrey obviously is joining us, but Jake, he's kind of the star of the hour here because this local teen has raised over $17,000 to provide a surgery for a sick child overseas. Before we get to you and your story and why you participate in this, tell us just a little bit more about the project. So um, I'm with an organization called Stand With Us, which is a global Israel education organization. And we try to highlight how Israel's innovative use of math, science, and technology heals the world, feeds the world, and advances the world. And Save a Child's Heart is the most remarkable organization that does this beautifully. It is a international humanitarian aid organization in Israel that provides free cardiac heart surgeries to the world's neediest children. They provided 3,000 free heart surgeries to children from over 44 different countries, but it's remarkable, 50% of the children they've saved are from the Palestinian Authority. Mm. So truly they are healing the world in building bridges to peace. Wow, this is a donation-based project, so people are raising thousands of dollars, like this gentleman right here that I just introduced you to, Jake. He raised $17,000 on his own to prevent a surgery, or to provide a surgery, rather, to a sick child. So what made you want to participate in this project? Well, I love for what this stands for. Like what Audrey said, like they're, how they're repairing the world, like one surgery at a time. It's, it's truly beautiful. And how'd you do it? I had private donations and I had a fundraiser where people paid to go and, and there was dancing and people performed and it was a lot of fun. Well, he is receiving an award today. I don't want to keep you. You can go right in there, get your award. Congratulations you. to you, Audrey. Thanks for filling us in about Thank Save you. a Child's Heart. Over to you now, David.